most companies in the world are now following some type of agile, lean, or scrum methodology and becoming more agile. And in addition to the scrum of scrums, you can have coordination teams, product owner teams, and various other ways of organizing to bring about high performing teams. Which brings us to Ron Westrom's research about, again, the IT DevOps culture. So he talks about the characteristics of high performing technology teams. And so let's review again what we don't know. We know that the best idea, product, technology doesn't always win. So examples are Intel and AMD or the Betamax or VHS situations. We also know that culture, this intangible force, eats strategy for breakfast. If you have a very good strategy, but you don't have the culture in which to implement it, you're going to hit that mud pit that we talked about. So how do we become a high performing team? So this is me kind of breaking down Westrom's research. So Spotify has a very famous loosely coupled cross-functional culture where they, they have groups that are highly cooperative, but there's a ton of freedom. Uh, however, there's an issue where not every company can just copy what Spotify has done. It just, it just might not work. So, for example, I worked for one of the many Berkshire Hathaway companies. There's about 1,500 companies. And Berkshire Hathaway has a wonderful pattern of acquiring companies that are doing well, keeping leadership and management intact, and largely keeping the culture intact. And so the difficulty with that is if there's a very traditional culture and say they acquire another culture that's very progressive, now you have to reconcile the two. And so that's where the concept of trained messengers is really important. So there's, there's six of these concepts, so we're on the second one. And the idea is that people feel safe talking about issues so that problems don't get out of hand and you're dealing with them more often. I talked about Spotify's culture, this loosely coupled cross-functional culture. So they are always playing in the space of high alignment and high autonomy. And the reason why that's important is they're really sharing risks. So I visited Menlo Park uh, Facebook campus about 10 years ago, and I saw these wonderful posters that left an impression. So the idea is that nothing at Facebook is someone else's fault. So you can replace the blank with your company or team or organization. And the reason why I like this is you're breaking down silos. Everyone has the shared responsibility, which inherently reduces risk. Also, Westrom encourages bridging. So what is bridging? It means that you have both formal and informal communication channels. So people are talking, and, and this can even be in a remote or digital setting, water cooler talk, talking in the hallways. So this could be your Slack channels, your teams, and basically just having cross-functional interaction happen both in organized and informal fashions. And again, it helps you to share the risk. It helps you to talk about the issues. So the last two are having a culture that um, embraces failure. So instead of having postmortems where you blame people, failure actually causes you to ask, hmm, I wonder what happened. And that same Facebook poster, I think, applies here. And then the final characteristic that um, a high-performing IT culture has is you can implement novelty. So I live in Texas, so using this kind of emoji, thinking about the wild, wild west, just having the freedom to try new ways of doing things leads to innovation. What I talked about now was just the happy path. That sounds fantastic, but what if those autonomous squads don't work for you? Maybe you're a government agency, or maybe you're a healthcare environment that um, just you can't uh, just apply uh, Spotify's culture. So that's one issue. The other gap is okay. Now that we've we're kind of following these autonomous squads, how do we scale it? So as we know, that's something that Spotify's trying to solve. And finally, what are things that we know? We know that co-creation is really important for innovation. So the open source community, contributions which create social value, um, intelligent swarming, whether that's in support, in agile methods, or in problem solving, uh, you have more people who are experts prioritizing and solving an issue, 
or innovation operations. And I'll get into more of this in the rest of the talk. 